Hi, Steve Nugent here for Frontier Ag and Turf, and today we're going to go through the setup steps on the GS3 2630 in a combine. Uh, the steps we need to take to get set up for harvest so that the screen runs properly and you get the yield maps that you wanted. Now if we go to our guidance screen, we can see a picture of a combine with a head in front of it. That's what we want to look like. We want that picture to be fairly representative of what real life uh, looks like. One of the few last things we want to do is go into mapping. Now you'll see on mapping where we just have let overlap and coverage set on our legend. We want a yield map here. So I go into map settings and on our foreground we're going to switch that from coverage to yield. Press accept. Now I still have my blue here but this button has lighted up for us and I can switch that to a color coded scale. On this color coded scale, I simply press it, set my upper limit that I would like to have in there, and set a lower limit. So what this is telling me is that anything above 200 bushel will be colored in in green, anything below 125 will be purple, and everywhere in between. Now these colors have zero effect on your maps that get printed out by your agronomist or on your own using your APEC software. This is simply for on-the-go yield mapping so you can get a quick color reference as to how your field is producing. Now we have three different views on this page and this is the button that toggles between them. We can be right on top, we can be behind, or we can be zoomed way out on top and look at a country mile if we'd like. I generally like to be behind the combine and back out a little bit. Now on this screen, it's hard to see, but there's a little toggle button in the upper left hand corner. We can have full screen mapping right on this page if we'd like. Simply press that button, press it again to go back to normal view. But sometimes we want to set up other pages too, so we'll go through that now. If I press main menu, go into layout manager, I see that my page one is already set. And we're going to leave that alone, but I want to make a page two. On page two, I want to do this configuration right here, letter G, where we have a top half, a bottom half, and then a, a little sliver of information on the right. On the top, I'm just going to press right here. I would like some green star information, and I want to give myself a yield map. You can see we're picking the top half, and I have 12 pages of options. If I scroll through here, page two shows me, again, it's kind of a blank screen, but we see that color-coded scale. I know that that's my yield map and that's the one I'm going to want to press right there. Now on the bottom half, I go back into Green Star and if I scroll through a little ways, I will find a screen that has a whole bunch of digits on it and numbers. It may look kind of confusing when we're setting it up, but that is, that is the main uh, numerical representation of all of our yield data on the fly and you'll see that here in a minute. And then the next thing I'd like to do on this page is set up the right sliver and give us a client farm field listing so that if I want to change those things on the fly or on this page I can do that. I also want to make a page three. You see we can make up to five but sometimes that can be a little too much information. We'll go to page three, check out uh, the letter F configuration. I can give myself a pretty big yield map on that page right there and again we have 14 pages of options here so you can scroll through until you find the one you like and you can try some different ones this one I found works the best we have our overlap control yield map gauge over here and we have um, moisture and yield showing up on the top and then on this page I as well will put in a client farm field list so if we want to change it from this page we can do that as well so if I press accept now you'll see I'm on page three of three. We have page one, page two, page three. And they go through that cycle every time you hit it. So page one is our main Green Star page. Again, we have our resources, equipment, and documentation set up here. Page two, we can run on this page quite a bit. We can set up for instant wet bushels, instant dry bushels, average dry bushels, average moisture, average wet bushels, total pounds, total acres, and we can configure that page quite a, quite a many different ways uh, to get it to your liking. 
And then up here we have our yield map painting in uh, our color coded yield. And if I ever need to change that gauge, I can simply press right on it and I can reset what these numbers are on the fly and they will change what the color coded scale is. If I go to page three, I have a similar thing. I'm gonna get instantaneous bushels and moisture here. And as you can see, I can toggle between wet and dry numbers. Same deal, I can change my legend and I can turn my overlap control on and off from this page three. The multiple page setups are, are set for each individual customer. These are some templates that I like to use, but um, there is no wrong answer when it comes to that. The main thing I wanted to express is our resources, client, farm, field, task, equipment, machine and header, and document. If we don't have those three buttons set up the way they're supposed to be, we will not be recording our yield map. So, those are some of the regular things that we set up on the on the harvest dock with the 2630. Uh, if you have any questions, obviously give us a call. We'll be here to help. Thank you very much. Thank you for viewing our Harvest Setup 1.2 video. For more combine setup tips, please view our documentation and measurement input videos. We thank you again for your business as we strive to be your one-stop shop for quality John Deere equipment, sales, parts, and service. If you need additional assistance, please contact your local egg salesperson or our new Richmond store at 715-246-6565. We can also be reached online at www.frontiereggturf.com. Thanks again, and we hope you have a great day.